You can sketch a weak acid strong base pH titration curve fairly accurately if you know the pH at four points. The initial pH, when no strong base has been added, the pH at the equivalent at the midpoint of the buffer region, where pH equals pKa, sorry. Um, the pH at the equivalence point, which will not be 7, and the pH 20 milliliters after the equivalence point. And for this particular problem, it says for the titration of 25.0 milliliters of 0 0.200 molar cyanic acid, you're going to be titrating with 0 0.250 molar sodium hydroxide. So uh, this problem is going to, uh, so it says uh, calculate the pH at each of the four above points and show your work. Make the graph on graph paper and have your titration curve go through all four of those points while you sketch the whole curve from 0 to 45 milliliters of sodium hydroxide added. So how do we do this? Well, the initial pH, when no strong base has been added, is just going to be the pH of a, uh, well, we don't even need the 25 at this point pH of just a 0 0.200 molar cyanic acid solution. And cyanic acid, and if I go to my list here, is cyanic acid, where are you? It's HCNO, and it has a Ka value of 2 times 10 to the minus 4. Only one sig fig, which is interesting and cool. Okay, so how to do this first one is you're going to set up a Ka ice table. Actually, I write that down here. Ka ice table, and you're going to solve for the concentration of hydronium, and then find the pH. Because the only thing you have is a weak acid, you haven't added any strong base to it yet. And then the pH at the midpoint of the buff region, where pH equals pKa, I'll find the pKa based on the Ka. And then at the equivalence point, you're going to, well, first let's find the equivalence point. If you know how many moles based on your 25 milliliters in 0.2, you can say, set, uh, turn that into an equivalent number of milliliters of sodium hydroxide by calculating the moles of one setting it equal to the moles of the other. And let's see, so the concentration of this is a little higher. I'm going to guess that if you work this out, that the equivalence point will be at 20.0 milliliters. And, um, and at that point, you're going to have moles of your conjugate weak base as the only thing left which will be CNO minus. And uh, you're going to calculate the, and, and let's actually do that one. So let's see. So um, at the equivalence point, I don't think we've done this one before. So you're going to have 0 0.250, 0 0.250 times 0 0.2, 0 0.02 you're going to have 0 0.00500 moles of CNO minus. Let me just check that, 0 0.025 times 0.2. Yeah, so you have 0 0.00500 moles of cyanic acid. So that's the same number of moles you're going to have at the equivalence point. That's the definition of the equivalence point. And then you're going to have your total volume, which will actually be 45 milliliters. Ooh. So I'm going to change this problem. This should be 0 to 60. Oh, no. That's right. It is 0 to 45 milliliters. Do, 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 do. We've only, we've got a total volume of 45, but we've still only added 20 milliliters of our sodium hydroxide. Anyway. So we have 45 milliliters total, turn that into liters. And this will be the concentration of your cyanate, uh, your CNO minus. And again, so we're talking about this third point here. You now know the concentration of your cyanate ion. 
And if you know the concentration of your cyanate ion, you can go ahead and do a Kb ice table to figure out what's the concentration of hydroxide, then the pOH, and then the pH. That's point number three. So you have to find where the equivalence point is and set up a Kb ice table in terms of molarity, of course, and find the pOH and then the pH. And then the fourth point is going to do a mole ice table as well. That mole ice table with 20 milliliters beyond the equivalence point, which will be 40 milliliters total of your sodium hydroxide. You'll then find your leftover moles of hydroxide, find their concentration over the total volume, moles over total volume. And then because it's a strong base, you'll plug it straight into the pOH equation and then find pH. And then you're going to put it all on a uh, you're going to put it all on a graph, and the graph will look something like this. Well, you're going to make yours look very nice and pretty, but you're going to have a graph, and of course it's going to look something like this, where the pH at the middle will be your value over here. The pH at the beginning will be your value right there. The pH at the equivalence point, which for a weak acid strong base titration will be higher than seven. So work that out, as you'll see. And then you'll have a point up here somewhere, 20 milliliters past the equivalence point. And your graph will be drawn very nicely. 